Dear students, yeah, as your friend uh, uh, said about uh, 264 tri bromoanilin synthesis with the help of uh, uh, bromine and anilin, we are going to synthesize a 246 tri bromoanilin, right? So, what exactly, what kind of reaction we are going to do today? Bromination, right? So, for that starting material, we are taking anilin as the starting material. Then, we are, with the help of a bromine, we are going to do a bromination. So, here, what is the principle behind this experiment? Why it is acting to ortho and para directing group? Why not to the meta? So, why because? So, here, anilin, the amine group is acting as an electron donating group. Then, ortho and para uh, is an electron rich center. So, bromine attacks to the ortho and para directing group. Okay? So, here are the reagents we are going to use. So, one of my students will explain what are the reagents and chemicals we are going to use. The reagents used in today's experiment is acetic acid, aniline and bromine. So, the main chemical we need to worry about today is uh, uh, bromine and the MSDS for bromine is basically it's toxic, it's corrosive, it's uh, very uh, fatal if inhaled and it's bad for aquatic life. This is the mixture of uh, 19 ml acetic acid and uh, 5 ml aniline. Uh, we are uh, cooling the mixture uh, from uh, 10 to 15 degrees. So, as uh, uh, all of you know, bromine is very highly toxic and highly corrosive. What we have done is, there may be chances of highly volatile, so it will escape. So, if we just keep it as well. So, what we have done is, we are kept inside the glacial acetic acid. So, as people are doing it in 9 batches, so what we have done is, we have taken 180 ml of glacial acetic acid and uh, approximately 76 ml of a bromine. We have stored it, we have made a uh, bromine glacial acetic acid mixture now. Now, now, now what we are going to do, now uh, the temperature of this uh, um, solution containing anilin and a glacial acetic acid, the temperature has reduced around, uh, we have to reduce in the freezing mixture up to 10 to 15 degree. Then now we are going to add the bromine solution which is containing in the stored in the glacial acid acid, approximately how much ml? 28 ml. So initially you have to do add at once, okay? So can you, uh, students, can you able to see the fumes? Yeah. So approximately 28 ml. So you want to add it. Immediately you close it. Okay, at once you are going you have to add it. Okay, keep it aside now uh, for some time so that the reaction reacts there. See here you can clearly see the escape of the bromine. Uh, so once now it has been reacted now, now we will keep as such. Okay, we are going to keep it as such now. For 15 minutes you keep it aside.
we have kept the reaction mixture for 15 minutes the reaction has been completed okay now the next process is we need to do quenching okay to get the product okay uh, take the beaker put the glass rod inside this uh, yeah now pour the reaction mixture into the ice cold containing water stir well okay see can you see the precipitation can you see the solid all of you yes very good now what it says now what is the product we have to get 246 thiopromo aniline right the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction right we have done a bromination for aniline so we have got a pure compound of 246 tribromo aniline it's a complete aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction okay now the next process we are going to do filtration add some more water Some of the unreacted bromine may remain over there, so don't inhale. Huh? You have to do with that with a mask. Okay. Now you got a pure solid. Huh? Now we will do filtration. This can be done with the help of a uh, minimum usage usage of the alcohol with the very high temperature. So enough. This, this much ethanol is enough. Now we have to stir it properly until it completely dissolves with the ethanol. After dissolving the octane product in the alcohol, this process is called self crystallization. Now uh, after dissolving this, we have to take it out and hold to room temperature and then we have to keep in a chill. And then the formation of mixtures will be taken place. From this we can find out the melting point of the 246 type bromo anilin. After doing recrystallization, we need to check the melting point. So the actual melting point of this compound is 120 degrees. Let's check what is the observed melting point. 